I feel yeah, I feel like the front part of it didn't come in right. Okay, can I hear the uh the one we're doubling a little bit more? Well still I was your husband, third in a group of three. When I you twice the widow I once did see a wedding bed like no other farts turn to a funeral grave. Truth is temperance and happiness worn Signpost on a road that is paved Up when the decent folk stands That two-step revival It is actually my first studio album, like per se, but I have worked in studios before and um, more sterile environments, not home environments. Jesus says we die a little death for him every day So I've been living here at Dave's house for all of January the past four weeks and I came for long weekends in the fall and I just sleep upstairs in the control room and in the morning we come downstairs have a little breakfast be like how'd you sleep okay and then we go right to work I think the environment is just more comfortable in a home I mean you find that you're watching the clock the whole time when you're at, at a big snazzy looking studio and you've got people kind of looking at you through glass and you're uh, you know you're a sort of specimen you're the kid who like life so much look up it's your wedding band while the minister spoke and the vows we took At that moment you were mine A falling took place afterwards An explanation would save much more time I like to start at noon and like to work till like 2 a.m. But I can't work solid so I like to take breaks. So being in a house means I can stop and watch TV. I can stop and do the dishes. Do something to get my mind completely out of the studio environment. Or I can be watching television or like reading a book and have an idea and it's right there. Last night when I was playing at Firewater, I didn't even tell the audience they were supposed to do that. And they do. And they do. <laughs> and they all went, Oh, a staff! <laughs> oh, just for that. <laughs> when I played at Holyoke, I made all the 200 girls that were there stand up and do the dance. <laughs> it goes in this. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, there's a dance. Somebody made it up in uh -oh. Providence at a show. It goes some um, when the decent folks <laughs> dance. <laughs> Two step <revival. laughs> And here's the worst part <laughs> denial, deviation, <laughs> temptation, <laughs> and trial. <laughs> I live in, uh, in South Amherst. It, I'm mainly surrounded by, across the street, there's an ostrich farm. And it's mainly, it's sort of families and farmers and apple trees and, and that sort of thing. And then, you know, a three minute ride away is uh, the new Walmart. <laughs> I do a lot of playing in Northampton, a lot of playing in Amherst area, so uh, I was familiar with it already. There's an awful lot of young kids here, people my age, people who are interested in the same sort of things I'm interested in. Um, I mean, the easiest way is called like the five colleges. I'm able to come and play, and there's also good venues here. You know, if you think about um, just Northampton itself, there's uh, Iron Horse and Pearl Street, sort of on like a national level. So it's a nice place to go and do like sort of higher profile, like opening kind of slots. And then there's Fire and Water, which is like big cauldron of uh, people just coming in a very small performance oriented environment. And I've been playing at Fire and Water for probably probably about three years. And each time there's been a, a real like noticeable multiplication of people coming to see shows. Should we clip clap? We should clip clap. Okay. You want to punch them in? Oh, that's totally yeah. pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> Dave and I got together through a third party, a man named Ben Demrath, who is another Valley musician, and uh, he got a tape from my manager who was passing him out. He heard it and he said, hmm, this is really good. He gave it to his friend Dave, who they were making a record together at the time, and uh, Dave came, heard me play an Iron Horse, and uh, he said, you know, I have the fall off, do you want to come and do a record? Florence wanted blackbirds, perched on the mill house floor. It's not a band we're hiring to do this. It's me and Dave sitting around 
throwing ideas at each other, and then we're right there with the tape machines ready. You know, and here you can go downstairs and no one's watching you and you can go nuts. And no one ever has to know. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Cool. That was good in the but now Jesus idiom. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> There's something on there that has a gasp. Oh, yeah. Clued me in. <laughs> uh, well, that's cool. Do you want to uh, check that one out? Yeah, let's come upstairs. thinking of you know building a more sort of professional style facility but actually I'm not sure that I really want to give up the uh, you know the environmental recording situation you know I love setting up a microphone in the stairwell and seeing you know see what sort of crazy sound you can get or I love that our pantry is one of the best sounding drum rooms <laughs> that I've ever heard you know the big day. <laughs> Do you think we should explore it further I don't know I think it was you know definitely amazing. Amusing <laughs> idea. Yeah. And it was fun. Yeah. But in a way that the feel of that section is kind of delicate. And we've got a really good balance between so the guitars right now. But I think there's enough like fake cowboy <laughs> stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need yeah. to clip yeah. Um unless it was going on the whole song. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's good there. Gets in your hair, you mustn't kick it around. If you're bored with this affair, you mustn't kick it around. Even though I can't really imagine a better way to make this kind of record for me, and uh, especially having it be my first record experience, it's been kind of amazing. Now put my bed above us, then I learn to love us. What kind of lover am I? I'm a little drinker, nervous, and a stinker. What kind of lover am I? Ooh, a little rule breaker. How do I break so well? Oh, a little rule breaker. If you break me, can you tell? 